Lesson 14.1c, we're going to talk about solving distance problems on a grid using absolute value. We learned in the previous video, 14.1b, how to find the distance between two points in a coordinate plane by using absolute values. When two points are on opposite sides of an axis, we add the absolute values of their distances from that axis for a total distance. And when two points are on the same side of an axis, we subtract their absolute values to find the distance. If the given x-coordinates are the same, we use the y-coordinates to find the distance. Here we have the same x-coordinates, they're both a 3, so we're going to use the y-coordinates to find the distance. And if the y-coordinates are the same, we use the x-coordinates to find the distance. Since we're going to be dealing with word problems, it's important that we read the problem carefully and we understand what we need to find. We can highlight, circle, or note the important information given and look for clue words to help us. We decide how we're going to use the information by choosing a strategy. We make a plan. We solve it and check our answer to see if it makes sense. This coordinate plane represents a map and each grid unit represents 10 miles. We can see that on the x and y axis, that they're 10 apart. Sarah's house is at point S, which has a x value of negative 30 and a y value of 50. And Tala's house is at point T, which is a negative 30 for x and a 10 for y. How long will it take to drive 30 miles per hour from Sarah's house to Tala's house? Well, the important information is the ordered pairs for S and for T, and that they'd be driving 30 miles per hour. Our plan is to find the distance by subtracting the absolute values of the Y coordinates. We can see they have the same X coordinates, so we're going to use the Y coordinates, and we're going to subtract. The distance is equal to the absolute value of 50 minus the absolute value of 10. That means we have 50 minus 10, which is a 40 mile difference. Now it wants to know how long it will take to make this drive at 30 miles per hour, so we're going to find the time it takes to drive this distance by using the relationship that the distance divided by the rate is going to equal the time. The distance is 40, the rate is 30 miles per hour, that's going to tell us the time. So the distance divided by the rate is going to tell us the time. We know the distance is 40 miles and they're going 30 miles per hour. 40 divided by 30 is 1 and 10 thirtieths of an hour. That would be 1 and 1 third hour. And a third of an hour is 20 minutes. That would be 1 hour 20 minutes. So it'll take 1 hour 20 minutes to drive a distance of 40 miles at 30 miles per hour. How long will it take Tala at point T, which is at negative 30 for x and 10 for y, to drive to Emma's house at point E, which is at 50 for x and 10 for y, if Tala drives 40 miles per hour. We note our important information, the point and ordered pair for point T and the ordered pair for point E, and that she will be driving 40 miles per hour. Our plan is going to be to find the distance by adding the absolute values of the x-coordinates. Because they're on opposite sides of the y-axis, we're going to use addition, and we can see that the y-values are the same, so we're going to use the x-coordinates. The absolute value of negative 30 is 30, and the absolute value of 50 is 50. We're going to add 30 plus 50 and get 80 miles. Now. We need to find how long it will take. So to find the time it takes to drive 80 miles, we'll use the relationship that the distance divided by the rate is equal to the time. Using this distance divided by rate equals time, we have a distance of 80 miles and she drove 40 miles per hour. 80 divided by 40 is equal to 2. That gives us the time of 2 hours. So it will take two hours to drive a distance of 80 miles at 40 miles per hour. Each grid unit represents 10 miles. We need to graph the point and write the ordered pair 
for halfway H between Tala's and Emma's house. And the distance between Tala's and Emma's house was the absolute value of negative 30 and 50, which was 30 plus 50, which was 80 miles. That's the distance between their houses. We need to find the halfway mark, so we can multiply 80 by a half, or do 80 divided by 2, that would be 40 miles. So 40 miles would be 10, 20, 30, 40. It would be right here. That would be point H for halfway. And the ordered pair for halfway would be, we write the X first, 10 for X, and it would be 10 for Y. That is the ordered pair for the halfway mark, the halfway point. We're finished with lesson 14.1. We're going to move on to 14.2, which is split into three parts. The first part is polygons in the coordinate plane. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and please join me for the next lesson. Bye.